Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to edit an existing contact. So when we click on the edit button here, right now it doesn't go anywhere because we haven't created the file. But what we want to have happen is when we tap this edit button, it's going to pass the ID of the record that we're selecting to another PHP script. That PHP script is going to look up and find the matching record in the database and display it for editing. So I'm going to start off by going into my editor and creating a new PHP script. So I have it in as update form PHP. I'm going to save it in the same location as my other files and click Save. And next we're going to set this up as a PHP file. And the first thing I'm going to do is include my DB info. I'll do require DB info PHP. That'll have my database connection information. Now the form that is going to send data to this script is our index PHP. And we're going to look right here at the update button that the user will tap. So we see that the action set up to update form, so it's going to call our new script update form. And it's going to send a hidden value. It's going to send SEL record equals, and then the value is the variable for the ID. And the ID is our primary key or our unique identifier. And that makes it easy to find an exact match in our database. So we're going to be getting SEL record equals and then whatever the ID is of the record. So we can use that in here. We can say we know it's going to come over as SEL record and we're going to get the value of that. It's going to be sent through a post. So we're going to say post and the post is SEL record. Next, we need an SQL statement to find the record in the database. So again, I'm going to create a variable called SQL. And the string in here is SQL statement to select everything from the contacts table where the ID is equal to SEL record. And actually, I need to change that. It's contact ID and that's going to match the selected record that the user clicked the edit button on. Now we need to execute that query and get the result back. So I'm going to paste in that code. And again, to execute our query, we're going to create a variable called result and use the MySQL query function with our SQL statement. And if it doesn't work, it'll die and give us the error. And we're also doing a little bit of checking here to say, well, if there's no result, if there's a problem with running this, then we'll get a message that says something has gone wrong. But as long as everything goes okay, then it's going to loop through the record to get the values. So we have a while loop. The result of the query is put into the variable result and then we loop through that array and we get the values of the fields and assign them to variable names. And then again, we're checking, we're creating a variable for the file name and it's going into the images folder and getting using the variable for image here. And then we're looking to see if it exists. And if it doesn't exist, if, if no file exists with that file name, then it's going to use this string to replace it, which is an image of, it just says blank. So this is going to go out to the database, get the result of the record that matches, assign it to our variable names, check and make sure there's an image there. And next, we need to display this information back out that we got in a format that the user can use to be able to make modifications and changes. So the best way to do that is to use a form. So it's a lot of typing, so I'm going to paste in the code for that again. Okay, so the code that we pasted in, again, has a page title. 
and it's to edit a contact this time and we're going to include our header file that has our navigation at the top and then we have a print here and this is pretty much like the add by form where we have different text fields in here that have places for their email and first name and last name information now one thing that is different is we have an input type equals hidden name equals ID value equals ID so we're using a hidden form field again in order to be able to send information to the next script we're going to be bundling up all of the names and values from our form and sending it to the update.php script and that's going to get this information and update it in the database so the user doesn't see this ID they can't change it we don't want them to change it so there's we don't even show it to them on the form so we're just going to pass it along as a hidden feature that update PHP will be able to use to find an exact match and then update the record another difference here is we're putting value equals for each of the form fields and since we're getting this data from the database back as a result and, a, and as a variable we can take that and make that the value of the form element so then it will actually display the email address from the database in the text field so it does that for uh, the email first name last name phone and image information and then that's the end of our print here so this last part is mostly just displaying out the form with the data from our SQL query so I'm going to save that and I'm going to upload it to the server and we'll test it okay so I'm on my index page and if I click edit we have modify this contact and it grabs the data from the database and it would allow me to change the image information if I wanted to re-upload it again then I would have to go through the process of setting up this page as well to be able to handle file uploads so for simplicity purposes you know there's a whole separate video tutorial on setting up the file upload so I'm not going to worry about the image at this point we're just worried about being able to change this information so what would happen next on this is if the user were to make some changes on here and click modify record it's going to bundle up the name and value pairs of this form and it's going to send it on to the next script which is the update PHP script so now we need to create that to actually get this data and change it in the database so I'm going to create a new PHP file called update.php so my editor I have a new file called update.php and I'm saving it in the same folder location as the rest of my contact database files and I'll click Save and now I'm just going to paste in some code this one is pretty straightforward we're going to include our DB info script so we can access our database and the information from our form is submitting the ID email first last and phone right if we go back here this is the information that's going to be submitted so if we make a change in here it's going to bundle up these name and value pairs now we're not worried about image right now so just ignore that when we hit modify record it's going to go to your update PHP script so we're getting those variables in and assigning them to variable names then we have an SQL statement which says to update our contacts table by setting email equal to what's being posted from email and then first and last and phone where the contact ID again this is our primary key where that's equal to the ID one thing I want to note here and this is a very common place to make an error uh, the last field before we have where contact equals ID there's no comma in there all the other ones have one but the last one before we get to the where statement doesn't have a comma so commonplace to look for errors if you're getting something 
So we created the SQL statement to update. Now this could be one long statement, but I just thought it was easier to put it down on different lines so that you can see all the information that's being updated. We're going to execute the query, and if it dies, give us an error. And then we're going to print out the update of what the new record looks like. So I'm going to save that and upload it to my server, and then we'll test it out. So I already typed in some changes here, so I'll click Modify Record. And you can see here is the updated and changed information. And if I go back to my home screen, you can see that those changes are being picked up in here as well. So if I click Edit, I can come back in here and change this back again. Okay, so now I'm back to normal. So that is updating data within your database.